I'm Ken Downing, Fashion Director for Neiman Marcus, and I'm here in McLean, Virginia, bringing the spring trends from the runways of the world. And of course, we all know it's about gold color for the spring season. I'm absolutely manic about the idea of coral. I'm the man who said coral is the color of the season, and I love it best when it's mixed back to magenta. It's a season when there's a real ode to Mr. Yves Saint Laurent. A retrospective eight, ten months ago in Paris really sparred the idea of Mr. Saint Laurent in the 70s, the whole idea of the luxe peasant, the rich hippie, which brings on the boho inspirations of the season, which is so terrific. A maxi dress, a maxi skirt, a peasant blouse, long pendants that resolve into a great necklace that are many times done in a natural agate or a sparkling stone, and of course all the interesting 70s references of a flat sandal or a wet shoe. You certainly want to have something boho in your wardrobe for the coming season. And of course, then there's all the amazing wide trousers. Again, a true nod to Mr. Saint Laurent, borrowed from the boys, taking that idea of a menswear pant but doing it super fluid, but wearing it back to a flat sandal. I demand to wear that wide trouser with a flat sandal. It's really the foundation you need to make that wide pant look so terrific. And of course, all the great crossbody bags. If you're wearing a peasant blouse or the idea of a maxi skirt, you really want that idea of a terrific crossbody bag to bring the entire wardrobe together. And don't think about just coral as ready to wear, a coral lip, the spring face that really inspired me on all the runways that I want to inspire you is that all important coral lip because colors shouldn't just be worn from the neck down. I encourage you to put a bright color and especially coral on the lip. It's flattering on every skin tone. I'm just back from Europe with all the fall collections and I have to tell you, it's exciting to see all the things in the spring collections that move forward into fall. You know, I always say fashion is an evolution. It's really not a revolution. And this idea of all these great corals and magentas get deeper and a little bit more romantic as we move into fall. So look for Bordeaux and wine still mixed back with coral and magenta. Magenta becomes the great equalizer for spring and also for the fall season. And a return to the idea of very ladylike polished dressing. There's a lot of terrific little lightweight tweed jackets that are going to top everything this season. And we're seeing that move forward into the fall season for that very ladylike, polite and polished way that I think a woman should look. Look out for the pump. It is high, it's a stiletto, it's super sexy, and sometimes on a single sole, and generally with a pointed toe, which I love with all the ladylike looks of the season. We're seeing them emerge from spring, so you can get ahead of the trend with that amazing pointed pump because it's something you're going to wear as you go into the fall season as well. And a little FYI, fur on every runway, newest when it's dyed in great shades of Bordeaux, magenta, and purple, and leather dressing, a leather t-shirt, a leather shirt, a leather blouse, and a strict leather pencil skirt that's super sexy, or the ubiquitous leather dress is going to look as great at 8.30 at night as it did when you put it on at 8.30 in the morning. It's an amazing season, so get into the spring spirit now, but shop for things you love, things you adore, because they'll move easily into your fall wardrobe. And what's wrong with that? Good stuff. Now you talked tonight a little bit about using a tuxedo jacket and making that the cover to like the nighttime look. Tell us about that. I am crazy for a tuxedo jacket. It's interesting. I saw it emerging on the runway a year ago fall. It was on every runway for spring and it's another one of those terrific items that move into the fall season. Again, a nod to Mr. Saint Laurent. We have to remember Mr. Saint Laurent in the 70s put women into tuxedos or the smoking as he called them. But the idea of tuxedo dressing goes beyond just evening. A tuxedo dressing idea goes into day wear when you do a great tuxedo jacket over a boho look or even over a great pair of skinny jeans and those stiletto pumps that you want to get into. But I love a tuxedo jacket. It goes everywhere and makes you look super of the moment. And just to make that, like, to break it down really simply, you used black and white tonight. Is that a right? white jacket for that dinner look. The idea of a dinner jacket looks amazing day and night. And you can also do a black men's wear tuxedo jacket. If you don't have a tuxedo jacket at home, try on your husband's, try on your boyfriend's, slip it over your shoulders for that Bianca Jagger swagger, and start to look there, and then come and get one that fits you. But I love the idea of that tuxedo jacket as an alternative to an evening cover-up or topping all the boho looks the season. With boho, it gives you that great tailored contrast that you're looking for. And for evening, you can leave the shawl and the throw at home and put that great little tuxedo jacket over a new cocktail dress or something you already own. And it looks perfectly fabulous and at the moment. Awesome.
awesome. One more question. The wide out look you talked about tonight and how that's like such a fabulous look going forward in spring. But you did it in a really interesting way because you presented one look that had sort of the sil silver hues mixed in white and then you did one where you mixed like, you called it like a buff, so you mixed a buff and white, it was beautiful. So could you tell us about how to wear the white look? It's interesting on all the spring runways, it was either gold color led by coral and magenta or this idea of an entire white wardrobe or white out, the idea of no color whatsoever. And you can certainly wear bright white with bright white, but I love mixing white with cream, latte, taupe, even all these interesting warm buff colors because I think it makes for a more interesting, a more eclectic, and a more personal style of a mix. You shouldn't run around a store trying to match all your whites at the same time. That's not the way to get the look of the season. You want a great wide white pant, perhaps a cream peasant top, of course a flat sandal if you're getting that wide pant, and then putting a great buff colored handbag with it. So think about all those different tones of white and beige and cream together at one time. That's the earmark of personal style. Well, Ken, you were amazing tonight. Your charisma is is over the top. It's really fabulous. Um, thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you. And thanks for coming to Northern and Virginia. Always happy to be here and enjoy the spring season. Thank you.